After spending over $7,000 in a few seconds, this would arrive. Want to know what's inside? Come take a look. Can you can you see in there? Can you, can you see that? Let me let me let me take it out. Oh, a little, little upgrade to the kit. Yes, so this is my new camera. I am now a proud owner of a red. The red Komodo to be exact. The baby dragon. But let's get into some details. But before we do that, make sure to subscribe because I'm about to give you a bunch of content on this camera. Take you through a journey with me as I learn how to use this camera. Um, and make sure to hit that like button if you like this video, because there are gonna be plenty more like this. In the great words of the Dark Knight's Joker, Heath Ledger. Let's put a smile on that face. This little box here, say little, not too little, but this little box here is the new camera. You are experiencing this with me for the first time and it feels good. Hope it feels just as good to you. So the reason I got this camera is because my, oh my gosh. Stop there. This is it. Look at look at that. that. Power. Punch. This video is all over the place. <laughs> Red gave us a nice sticker. How to get it started, register, and download the Komodo app, of course. What else do we have in here? We got the RF to EF mount. Gonna come in handy. I already have one. And see what we got. Universal adapter chargers. If I wanna go out the country. And a power cable. Power cable. Okay. So I know a lot of people are thinking if you're new to this, $7,000 and this is what you get. I paid a little bit more because I wanted to drop in any filter, but basically $7,000 and this is what you get. No batteries, no memory card, just the body. Um, but that's red. This is a lot cheaper than most reds you will see. So this is a very reasonable price. And I'll give you reasons why I made a purchase of this camera. So the reason I bought this camera is because my productions are becoming big enough to have this camera on set. I'm getting more into a director of photography role on most of the sets that I'm working on. So it requires me to have a certain quality of camera. And I felt like the red would get me that image that I wanted. The sensor is one of the most beautiful sensors that you see on most of the movies that you watch. And I wanted that to be a part of me when I come out on set. I want to bring out this camera and for my own personal thing. This video is just a brief overview of why I got this camera, my first impressions, the unboxing. But make sure to stay tuned if you want to find out more and see some of the images that I pull out of this camera. So I know a big question is going to be, why did I buy this camera when I already own so many cameras? So for me, this was a step in the direction of where I'm going. And I do own the a7 III, the Blackmagic 4K, the Canon EOS R, 
and this little M50 here and maybe one other camera. But for me, I'm going more in the cinema realm. I'm doing more bigger production and I want to have this camera. The biggest thing that I will be doing in the next few weeks is trying to figure out which one of those cameras that I've already previously owned matches this camera and stick with just those two. For me, it's gonna be finding out how those cameras compare to this camera, doing some tests with it and seeing how well of an image I can get out of this camera. Okay, so like I said, this is a brief video of an unboxing and just first impressions of why I purchased this camera. Um, I have plenty more videos coming about this camera that I want to show you what this camera can do and put it through its test against my other cameras. So make sure to stay tuned and stick around for more videos. And thanks for watching.